Hi, what's up YouTube? I'm going to be showing you guys how to open up or make a Node.js application and deploy it on OpenShift. I'm going to make this as easy as possible and hopefully this will help you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section and yeah, or you could email me or whatever, but hopefully you should, this should be easy and you shouldn't fall into any problems. Um, most likely, um, you will want to be in a Unix-based environment such as Mac OS X or a Linux distribution. Um, you could use a um, Unix-based emulator or whatever in Windows. Um, I know Windows 10 now has a new update at uh, supports Bash, so hopefully um, you should be fine. So first, you the first thing you want to do is inside Terminal. If you don't already, you want to install RHC. RHC is the uh, command line interface tool that's used to access um, quite some um, parts throughout o o OpenShift. Um, so you can simply do that by typing sudo gem install rhc. And um, after doing that, um, I already have it installed. You can type in sudo gem update rhc. And after that, um, you'll have rhc installed. That's the only thing. That's the only thing you'll have to install for this tutorial. And again, if you're in a Unix-based environment, you'll probably also have Git. So you're also going to have need to have Git installed. So probably you already do. If you're on Mac OS X, you already do. If you're on uh, most big Linux distributions, you'll you'll have it. Um, so after that, um, when we have RHC all set up, we type in RHC setup dash L, then the email address that's associated with our OpenShift account. Here we're just gonna hit enter. Yeah, it will ask you, um, do you want to set up an RSA key? You want to type in yes, and then they're just going to ask you again another question, and you want to type in yes. I already did that, so I already have my tools configured. But for those next two options that it will be asked, yes or no, type in yes for both of those. After that, um, we have authenticated ourselves um, um, on our computers with our OpenShift account. Now, if you haven't already, you want to create a project, a Node.js project, inside uh, OpenShift on the web console. Um, most likely, you guys might have already have done might have done that already, but that's what you're going to have to do. Um, you can make it scalable or not. It really what doesn't matter when you have the option to set it up. Um, but yeah, when you have that at the interface panel, there's going to be a section that says source code. And it's going to have a little SSH URL or whatever, uh, SSH URL. And we're just simply going to git clone that. Um, be sure to be in the directory in terminal um, where you want to be. Um, you could be in CD desktop, CD, CD anywhere. Basically, you could change your directory to where you want it to be. I'm in a folder called OpenShift because this is dedicated to the tutorial. So simply, I can type in git space clone and command V. Here we have our project cloned. Now if I go into Finder or your or your window explorer, I could click double click this and that's what I created. OpenShift right there. And it has some pre-installed stuff. If you could uh, OpenShift automatically um, generate some files and you'll get something just like this. This is um, a little, this, uh, this is all the source code to this site that's all from what you see is everything that's in here. But we're, we're just gonna simply highlight everything and delete it. Um, so with that folder that was created, we're just gonna uh, change our directory into that. And I'm gonna hit clear on this. And uh, what we wanna type in is npn in it. I expect you guys to have Node.js already installed. That's why you're here. So we're just going to type in npm in it. Uh, OpenShift tut. I'm just going to name it OpenShift tut. Um, yeah, whatever. 1.0 description. Entry point. I usually like name mine app.js. I'm just one of those guys. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Alright, yes. And um, I'm just going to open up Sublime Text and go into my package.json file. 
um, here we can simply check that package.json that was created and um, here we have all our scripts um, that we have created inside of here and hopefully that should be good so what you want to do next is we're going to create a little project inside our working directory and um, hopefully that should be good um, what was I just about to say uh, we're just going to create a new file and we're just going to name app.js um, make sure it's the same as what was over here and simply we're just going to write a little bit of code in here and deploy it onto our server so hopefully this should be helpful for you guys um, so what we want to type in is var express because express is the little is express is going to be the uh, library that we're going to use um, um, to handle HTTP, HTTP requests and we're just gonna uh, what am I saying we're just going to uh, have the uh, app call express so we could make uh, calls for express and the first this is the most important thing throughout this tutorial we're just going to set up ports now in order to set up ports it's pretty easy um, we're just gonna I'm just gonna simply copy and paste something some code here it's just pretty annoying to type I'm gonna be honest but um, I'm gonna put that all this in the description of the video so you should be fine so we're just gonna have it run on port 8080 um, most people do port 3000 it really doesn't matter and um, after that we have our all our variables are cleared so we're just gonna make an app.get oh my bad we're gonna make an app.get and uh, for the for the route that we just want to run it through Let's get creative. Uh, hello, YouTube. All right, and over there we have our little app that get, and we're just I'm just gonna simply copy and paste code again. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, all it really is is uh, we have our server being lis listening on um, listening on um, the port that we've declared here. This is uh, pretty easy to do and again as I said uh, server listens in on uh, the port but yeah um, OpenShift has uh, a little uh, environmental uh, variable declared that uh, calls the port and the IP so simply uh, we're just gonna simply run that um, but before we run that my bad we're going to type in npm space install express dash dash save here it's just going to install express inside our project so we shouldn't have any troubles with our routing that we've kind of had set up we're just going to type in node app and it's going to listen in on a server on the local host so we're just going to type in local host uh, 8080 because that's the port that we have declared and it says hello YouTube. Now, the last step that we're going to do is obviously deploy it onto OpenShift. So what we're going to type in is git init, git add, git commit dash m, hello world, git push origin space master. Here, this is going to push all the files that we've created onto the server we should be fine. All right, so we're just gonna refresh this a few times and see. And here we go. All our codes deployed on the server. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you have any troubles uh, with setting this up, um, just feel free to hit me up. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching.